from challenges in the Robbinsdale School District to those facing the Anoka Hennepin School District. According to a residential survey, most parents in the Anoka Hennepin School District are happy with the education their kids are getting. But as Eric Nelson reports, they are concerned about growing class sizes. I would say that we're running slightly above the metro average. Uh, for class size within Anoka Hennepin. The Anoka Hennepin district has a magnetic tug on parents and kids. The solid reputation of their schools has pulled many families into the district. Our parents tell us that they notice our classes are larger. But with the exception of kindergarten and first grade, this enrollment explosion has led to swollen classrooms. A lot of it has to do with growth. Areas that uh, had cornfields or sod farms are now houses. And we don't have schools in those locations. From 6th grade through 12th grade, we're routinely bouncing around in the bottom five in the metro to the highest five. Some of ours are the highest in the metro. At the middle school level, classes typically have more students compared to others in the metro area. It varies by grade. So at the earliest grades, we try to keep the smallest class sizes, and then they progressively get larger. Meanwhile, the numbers continue to jump at the high school level, where the numbers again are more than the average in the metro. We have to revisit our space across all of our sites to make sure that our secondary facilities and our elementary sites are the right size for those communities. Classroom crowding is clearly having an impact on kids who sometimes get lost in the shuffle. The great teachers they have are the teachers that have built a relationship with them. And it's hard to build a relationship on a 55 minute period when you've got 40 students to pay attention to. Teachers also have more challenges when they deal with more students. Teachers would say, I, I want to give more attention in my classroom, uh, but with the number of kids I have, I, I can't pay as much attention. I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News. Part of this growth also goes back to the economic downturn in 2009 when the Anoka Hennepin schools increased class size by two across the board.